Byron, stop grabbing my leg. Oh, I'm sorry. The following is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from the bottomless pit. Weighing in at 260 pounds, the Boogeyman. Hey, Byron, are those worms coming out of your, your suit pocket? Whoa, wait, no, 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 tell me you're joking. Tell me you're joking. <laughs> Cole, why didn't you think of that earlier? He ran away. And now it's time for the Boogeyman. He's coming to get you. A very erratic and eccentric superstar. I've always wondered, guys, do you really think those worms taste good? Why don't you go ahead and sample them, Saxton? You let us know. Uh, I'm good. Boogie, he's over here. Oh, look, no, turn around, Boogie. No, quiet, Corey, quiet. The circus is in town. Not my kind of circus. And his opponent from parts unknown. Weighing in at 245 pounds. Boy, the clown. Did you guys ever think that you would see the evil clown on the grand stage of WrestleMania? Uh, no, this is like my worst nightmare come true. One can only imagine what evil tricks Doink has up his sleeve at WrestleMania. Oh, remember oh WrestleMania 9? When there was a, a second Doink who appeared from under the ring to help Doink? Ugh, still trying to get that image out of my head. There is pure evil in the eyes of the clown right now. Yeah, th th there is nothing funny about what Doink is preparing to do tonight. Wait, is he looking at me, Corey? Yes, and he can't stand you. Superstars endure in a match like this. Winning a match is always important, but this match is about survival. The punishment sustained in a cage match is certain superstars' careers. That's why it's a fight or flight situation. Win or lose, this is a match where the end result can be absolutely disastrous. Oof. Oh, right in the solar plexus. Kick to the gun. Oh, brutal four. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. There he goes, right into the corner. There's the splash. Caught with a clothesline. And you can tell that Doink is not being underestimated. And the boogeyman from the middle rope. Oh, what a splash. Everything working against Doink now. Nothing for Doink to laugh about here. When it comes to the steel cage, some would call escape the coward's way out. Some members of the WWE Universe even wish to do away with the escape rule altogether. What do you think, Corey? I think I'm in favor of whatever leads to a quick win without taking too much damage. If that means escaping, then I call it working smarter, not harder. Sorry, WWE Universe. In control here with a swinging neckbreaker. Textbook. Waist lock applied, countered into an arm drag. Close line. Oh, no, 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 no. He returns to the ring. Oh, right into the cage. Left by the turnbuckles. There's the splash. Drop toe hold. 
Doink always trying to get his creepy one-man clown show on the road. Oh, he gets what he deserves for all that gloating. Intercepted by the Boogeyman. Boogeyman obviously ready to feast on some worms. Hoist it up. Boogie slam! The Boogeyman! Why do you sound like you're crying? For more damage here. Release back suplex. Ouch. He has just completely lost his wind. This has just been an absolute massacre. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. He may have the three count right here. This is it. Shoulder up before the count started. I'm having a hard time believing that one. Dominating shoulder tackle. Boogie Man with his grip cinched in. Boogie Ball! Bring out the hook. Doink's done. Here's the bell, and he survives this brutal cage match. Here is your winner, the Boogie Man. An always thrilling steel cage match. Unpredictable to the very end, but there's the survivor. Doink can laugh all he wants, but at the end of the day, he's still lost. Now how funny is that?